What is the density of Freon 11 gas at 105 degrees Celsius and 1.6 atmosphere? Let's take a look what information do we know from the question. We know temperature, we know pressure, and we know the molar mass, mm. We need to find out the density. So density is mass per unit volume. And then in the ideal gas law, you see here PV equals nRT, and its number of moles of gas. And the uh, popular way of uh, finding a number of moles of any species, so it's a mass over a smaller mass. So whether it's a gas or a liquid or a solid, all right? Okay, now then we should be able to rewrite this idea of gas law equation. PV equals, instead of writing down N, we just simply write down M over molar mass, because that equals N, the number of moles. All right, so oh, T. So we can rearrange this equation. So move V to the other side, keep M. So M, we keep the M, then V to the other side as a denominator. All right. Now we'll move molar mass, of course, to the other side of the equation. So that becomes a numerator. RT, again, move to the other side of the equation. So, and that becomes denominator. Then what is M over V? That's D. That's the density. What is us? So, we do know molar mass, we know pressure, we know temperature, R is a constant, so then we are ready to calculate the density. D equals molar mass, which is a 137.36 grams per mole times pressure, which is 1.6 atmosphere divided by R, 0 0.082 atmosphere liter over moles Kelvin, then times T. T is 105 degrees Celsius, but we have to convert that to Kelvin scale. So let's look at those units. Atmosphere that is cancelled. Moles cancelled. Kelvin cancelled. So what I have left is grams over liter. Should be grams over liter. The value is uh, seven point oh eight grams per liter. That's the density. So, B is the correct answer.